or it is also to do a lot to share the Merrill Lynn series of e to the power of tangent x. As usual, we let the function be fx. So at the point x equal to 0, we have tangent 0 is 0, e to the power of 0 is 1. As usual, we have to differentiate, so we obtain by using the chain rule. So we have e tangent x differentiate the power which is secant squared x. So at point 0 again, secant is 1 over cos. So cos 0 is 1, so 1 over 1 is 1, 1 times 1 again, 1. Then we differentiate further. It seems like it's very complicated for us to differentiate functions involving exponential function and the trigonometric functions. However, let's say we generalize the derivative of the product of any functions that involving exponential function is actually not that difficult. So what we have to do here by comparing, we have exponential function. So we copy the exponential function. So e to the power of tangent x, then we times what we have here is followed by gx. gx is the other function, which is secant square for this case. So secant square for this case, so we have secant square x. And we times the derivative of the power for this case, which is equivalent to the derivative of tangent, which is secant square x. Then we plus the derivative of secant squared. Derivative of gx, so which is secant squared. And we just have to use the formula that we derived in the previous video. So we have 2 tangent x secant squared x. Then we already obtained the derivative in a very fast manner. So we simplify e tangent x, so this is equivalent to a to the power of m times a to the power of n, which is equivalent to a to the power of m plus n by using the law of indices. So we have secant to the power of 4x plus 2 tangent x secant squared x. So we apply at point 0 which is equal to tangent 0 is equal to 0. So this part we can ignore. So which means I will just have to take secant power 4 0 times e to the power of tangent 0, which is equivalent to 1. So next, we have to differentiate again. So seems like complicated, but doesn't matter. We just apply whatever we have here. So what we have to do again, we just follow exactly the same pattern. So we have exponential function copy and we copy the the other function so which means that for this case we have to copy the remaining functions copy entire remaining function so secant to the power of 4x plus 2 tangent x secant squared x and we times the derivative of the power which is secant squared x and we have to plus the derivative of this remaining power, remaining functions. So for this one, it's not difficult. We just apply the formula here. So this time n is equal to 4. So we have 4 tangent x secant to the power of 4x. And we have to plus, since we have two trigonometric functions here, which means that we have to apply the product rule. So we can let 2 tangent x be u and secant squared x be v. So according to the product rule, differentiating u times v with respect to x is equivalent to u dv dx plus v du dx. So u which is 2 tangent x times dv dx. So we differentiate v and we just have to apply the formula. So for this case is 2 tangent x secant squared x since m for this case is equivalent to 2. And we have to plus plus v. v is secant squared x 
and du dx so we differentiate to tangent x which is 2 differentiate tangent is secant squared x then we simplify so we have e tangent x so which means that we should have so we have common factor here we can take out so we have secant take out common factor secant square take out so secant square times secant square again secant power 4 so take out 2 left 2 plus 2 tangent x take out 2 then no more plus 4 tangent x secant power 4 x plus 2 times 2 is 4 tangent times tangent is tangent power 2 and secant squared x then we plus secant and secant so secant to the power 4 times 2 which is 2 secant to the power of 4x so at the point f when x is equal to 0 then we should have we just have to simplify slowly so secant definitely we will obtain 1 since it's equivalent 1 over cos 0 so 1 over cos 0 is equal to 1 so 1 times 2 is 2 so this part is 2 then this part we have tangent so which means that this definitely will obtain 0 so we can ignore this part then this will also equal to 0 so we ignore and this is 0 so we ignore so we have 1 plus 0 which is equal to 1 1 times 1 is still 1 so which means that we have 1 plus 2 which is equivalent to 3 so 3 times 1 is equal to 3 so we already obtain 1 2 3 4 4 non zero terms so it's sufficient for us to build the Marilyn series so which means that e to the power of tangent x is equivalent to so this is original function so we have 1 over 0 factorial times x to the power of 0 the factorial the number of factorial that we should take and also the power depends on in which the derivative be formed so this is no derivative so that's why it's 0 then we plus this is the first derivative so we have 1 factorial and x to the power of 1 since it's the first derivative and for the second derivative again we obtain 1 so plus 1 over second so which is 2 factorial x to the power of 2 then the third derivative is 3 so third which means that 3 factorial that x to the power of 3 and so on so which means that it's approximately equal to 1 0 factorial is 1, so 1 over 1 is still 1, then x to the power of 0 is 1. Then plus 1 over 1, 1, 1x, one and we plus 2 factorial is 2, so which means that 1 over 2, x to the power of 2, then we plus 3 over 3 factorial is 6, so which means that 3 over 6 is equivalent to 1 over 2. So we have 1 over 2, x to the power 3, and so on. Hence, we already obtained the Marilyn series of e to the power tangent x. And hence, we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you.